Hey, everyone. Today, I'm excited to be joined by Prometheus from Hector Dow. Um, hey, Prometheus. Hi, Brent. How are you? Good. Uh, I know we're excited to be talking about your project today, Hector Dow. Uh, I've done some of my own research on it, but it's great to have you today to uh, really take a deep dive into what this project is all about. So maybe you could start with uh, what you do on the project and then uh, maybe a quick overview uh, for my viewers uh, what this project is about. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Been, uh, I've been looking forward to this, watching a lot of your videos, and uh, yeah, I'm really into it. So it's great to be here. So I am Prometheus. Um, some people who are watching this from uh, from the Hector side of things will will know me quite well. So uh, shout out to you guys if you're watching this. Hello again. Um, but for for everyone who doesn't, I am a strategist, and I'm one of the founders of Hector Dow. Um, so to give a brief summary of Hector Dow, I I think we'll start with the use cases for the average investor, right? Because that's what a lot of people focus on when they're getting into a project, you know, how can I benefit from this? So HectorDAO offers extremely high APYs for staking rewards. Um, if anybody has heard of OhmDAO, for example, TempleDAO, um, we're very similar to that, but we're based on the Phantom network. Um, we chose Phantom because um, it's extremely fast, it's really secure, and the transaction fees are very low. And we, you know, we believe it's yet to have its, what I call Solana moment. So if you look at the Solana prices, um, Earlier this year, they were like $7, and now we're at $220, $240, $250. Um, so it's a breakout chain, I think, and I'm very bullish on Phantom. Anyone who's met me will definitely know that because I always talk about it. Um, but yeah, that, that's a, a good kind of surrounding image of the, the protocol. Um, the way that we achieve these high APYs is we sell bonds. So for anyone who's not familiar with a DAO such as ours, um, if you've been in crypto projects, you'll know that you know you have market prices, which is you're looking at the charts and then you buy from market at those prices. Now that's really cool because it, it lets you trade with a huge volume of people. You know you buy low, sell high, hopefully, um, and you make a profit. Now the way we do it is we have market prices and charts and all of that good stuff as well, but we allow people to interact directly with our protocol to buy what we call bonds. So the benefit of that is that you can get our tokens at a discount. And you're giving money directly to the protocol, which we can then use to incentivize people to buy by offering high APYs. So it's like a direct interaction between investors and protocol. And uh, it allows us to offer some really, really cool things like high APYs and really nice bonding rewards as well. Um, so when you take out a bond, for example, it invested over a period of five days, 20% per day, roughly. Um, and then yeah. it allows us to grow fast and, and be nice and stable. Yeah, I know you keep saying high APY, but maybe you should tell. Uh, when I think high yeah, APY, yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe like 30%, 40%. But then I saw some of your numbers about your high APY. You have so extremely, extremely high APY. Yes. So maybe you could uh, talk about what that, maybe you could say the actual number because I thought it's really awesome. So we, we've we just migrated onto a fresh staking contract. So it's a little bit volatile now, but we've been looking at an average of between two and 400,000% APY, which is... You're not going to get that at a bank. We'll put it that way. Yeah, I, I've I watched a couple of uh, YouTubers talk about it, um, and yeah, like uh, it's kind of crazy. And they showed off like some of they did. They showed some of their math on like if they staked like fifteen hundred dollars, how much they were making a day based off high APY, uh, yeah. and definitely the the passive income was there. So um, when I heard about that, that definitely perked my ears up or eyes up uh, about their project so uh, it's great to hear so um. yeah I love to see those videos um, it's one of the reasons we really do it I mean outside of you know there's, there's various factors that people make projects but I, I just love interacting with the community and seeing all of these people get excited and hyped up as much as we are because you know inside the team you, you see all the details and we're really passionate for it but to see community members reflect that passion as well it's extremely rewarding so yeah I love those videos Cool. Yeah, and then and then you mentioned the right. That was going to be one of my questions about uh, why Phantom. But I think you gave a good example of where it's still it obviously has all, all the benefits of these other networks, but it's still very early on. Uh, and I think yeah. obviously, um, yeah, your reference to Solana. Uh, I'm definitely very from. I'm definitely familiar with Solana and what happened has Solana. And I and I kind of agree your same kind of same sentiment with uh, Phantom. And I think it's great that you're um, aligning with them uh, because I think there's a lot of potential for the future. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're we're really in a golden age right now, and um, you know, we're lucky enough that, that we'll have people in a few years who will only be able to talk about the good old days of crypto retrospectively, right? Because I hate this word, but regulation is coming, um, and things are about to change. And you know, if you look at Bitcoin, 
couple of years ago. It was trading at 3,000 the first time I really properly heard of it. And here we are touching 60. I think we got close to 70 a few days ago. Um, and, you know, I, I think the the real trick here is to catch lightning in a bottle and finding one of these breakout chains. And uh, and Phantom really appears to be that for us. Their, their TVL is growing really, really quickly. Their price is nice and stable. They've had some pumps and it, it looks like they're entering a pretty, pretty consistent uptrend now. Got it. Cool. Um, so I know you talked a little bit about um, obviously the project. The, the number one question that I, I I get, or well, when I'm looking up, and it's I think it's your number one or your free class question was, is Heck a stable coin? And maybe you could. Uh, and I thought the way your documentation kind of like laid that out, I th I thought was good because I that's my initial thing when when someone is probably hearing about this project. Um, but maybe you could give some background on um, you know kind of where. Uh, you know, your benefits of why you are shouldn't be called a stable coin because you're not, but uh, maybe you could give some background there. Yeah, I mean, there's there's kind of a burden of um, of experience on when you say stable coin, it's a bit of a loaded term, isn't it? Um, so let, let's start at the beginning. And so we, anyone who's been in crypto will be familiar with stable coins, or at least I would hope so. Um, but, but just to really give the full overview, they are they're stable coins, right? They're, they're pegged at a stable value, usually to the dollar. So if you've used Tether, stable coin, uh, Binance dollars, stable coin, Terra coins, stable coin. Um, and they maintain that price value by being backed by things. Um, so you bring in one fee at dollar and you, you go to Binance or Tether or whoever you want to get your stable coin from. And you say, here's a real dollar. I want you to give me a magical internet money dollar. And they, they give you their magical dollars and then you can, you know, that's how you store value on the blockchain in, in real currency. Um, and that is really, really great in economies where you don't have inflation. And unfortunately, what we're seeing in the US particularly right now, and I, I bring up the US because most stable coins are pegged to the US dollar, um, is the beginning of what looks like hyperinflation to a lot of people on the outside. What this means is... Um, well, I mean, if you look at the consumer price index, it, let's take it even in more into a, a normal kind of scenario. Look at housing prices. So back in the day, houses cost, what, $10,000? I'm, I'm talking a long time ago at this point. I wish it was 10 years ago. But now, you know, you're pushing into 200, 300, 400,000 for, for houses. And it's because of inflation. So the value of the dollar is going down. A house is still a house. You know, it's still essentially the same thing. Maybe there's some new technology in it, new materials. But um things are getting more expensive in dollar terms and it's it's becoming very uncontrollable in some ways and it's starting to have a negative effect on crypto so you know we we hear bitcoin being referred to as an inflation hedge more and more and that's exactly because of hyperinflation oh, so I, in, I all know about that i'm actually from the united states i'm from california where yeah. i feel like uh, uh, the prices every day, if I, when I'm looking at houses, uh, just go up exponentially. When you think that they should be going down, they end up always just be going up. And there's seems like there's no end point to it. It seems like it's going up a hundred thousand every single every yeah. couple of months, which is not, uh, which I don't think is. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not smart enough to know how to to fix that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely tough. It's a scary thing, right? I mean. If I could say to you, look, I'm, I'm going to create this cryptocurrency and it's, we'll call it Prometheus coin, for example. And the chart is basically just going to be on a downward trajectory. No matter what you do, no matter how much people buy, the chart is just going to get worse and worse and it'll become less and less valuable. And I said to you, okay, let's use this as a currency. Everybody would call me crazy, but that's what's happening with the dollar. I mean, it's lost like 95% of its value since the 40s. Um, I think it's like 25 to one, something like that. So $1 now is a 25th of a dollar back then. And, you know, this does happen. It, it, I'm not saying that inflation is entirely a horrible thing, but um, inflation at the rates that we're seeing now is it makes me uncomfortable for one, and I'm sure a lot of other people feel the same way. So to, to kind of pull it back into the hectare part of the conversation, um, that's why I say stable coins are a bit of a loaded term. So reserve currency is what we like to say. So... What we mean by reserve currency is something that hedges against the inflation of economies um, and can be used as a stored backed value um, to trade with things. Because over time, you know, the, uh, what you tend to find is that the, the prices of cryptocurrencies, particularly Bitcoin now, because it's being used as an inflation hedge, they're kind of rising in a self-fulfilling prophecy because the dollar becomes weaker. Therefore, your trading pair on the other end has to get stronger. So the Bitcoin rises because generally Bitcoin is bought in dollars. A lot of big institutional investment coming from the USA. Um, and what we're aiming to do is try to mitigate that 
and allow a, a reserve currency to exist on the blockchain that doesn't have to be tied to fiat assets because fiat assets by their nature should be stable but are not so that is essentially what we're trying to solve here and uh, you know, there, there's pretty good precedent to say that it is possible to do this it's obviously not going to be easy but you know, that's what we're targeting yeah, I have some stable, like USDT, USD. I mean, I, first of all, I don't know why there's so many, which is so confusing. So like US, yeah. obviously for all the different uh, networks and things like that, but like USDT, USDC, the US, like, and they just sit there and obviously they're against US dollar and they just, I, you know, it's bad. Like I've had some that have been sitting in my wallet for two to three months um, when it's like, this is not doing anything for me, right? So I should be putting it uh, in something. I can't like, you know, if you had it in like your bank account, that's fine. You could use it forever. But having it as a yeah. crypto, it's like, I, I don't, I, if you're not actively trading it, it's just sitting there two, three months. And uh, I don't know. I don't even know why it's in. I don't know what to do with it. Obviously, I, could, I but the whole idea is like, I should put it in something that's going to appreciate. But um yeah, and I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that have that has that issue. But um... yeah, I mean that's that's exactly the crux of it, isn't it? Because if you're sitting there with stables, that's fine. I mean, it's a trading strategy. You don't always want to be in the market. You don't always want to be fully exposed. Um, but it would be nice to have something that appreciates in value against inflation. Um, because you know, if inflation is ten percent per year, that means that you have ninety cents at the end of the year of your dollar, and that's just not good for anybody. And you know, inflation does have its purposes. It encourages people to spend because if my dollar tomorrow is going to be worth less than it is today, I should use it now. Um, unfortunately, when it gets to the levels that it's at, you know, it becomes just run away and, and uncontrollable. And, and that's why I think we're finding a lot of um, projects similar to ours on all kinds of networks popping up. Got it. Cool. So I know we talked about like a brief overview on uh, what this project is about. Uh, I always ask this question and I... I'm not trying to get like spoilers or insider information or anything like that, but uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about like what's coming up um, in the roadmap. Again, if you, of course, if you're willing to, um, like I'm looking to. at your dashboard now and it's like Hector Lend coming soon, Hector Borrow coming soon, Hector Pro coming soon. So obviously, uh, if you want to talk about those or something else, and again, if you can talk about them, kind of like what yeah. is exciting uh, for this project. So our big thing that we're pushing at the minute is, as I mentioned earlier, we've migrated to a more efficient staking contract. Um, the reason we did it is because bond sales were just far, far too high and the, the expansion of the system was far too high, which sounds like a really good problem to have. And, you know, it's been my favorite problem so far. Um, but there are certain mechanisms that we have to control. Otherwise, we encounter inflation. And that's really not what you want from a project that tries to hedge that. Um, so we've migrated to the new system now, and, and that will be one of the major things that helps us grow as well. We can sell bonds much quicker. Um, but the, the big thing we're pushing is something called 4-4 or hyper staking, as we call it. So traditionally, when you buy bonds, you get your rewards in HEC tokens, which is our native currency. Um, and we have something called SHEC, which is staked HEC, which compounds uh, relaces. So every eight hours, you get a compounding reward, which is determined by the APY. Um, we are introducing a system where the bonds that you buy will start compounding before you even start claiming them, which allows people to hedge even stronger and make more profits. Um, as far as I'm aware, we'll be one of the first, if not the first, to do it, um, which is a, you know, it's a really nice marketing push for us. Um, but outside that, we are going to bring public figures into our signatory board. So for, you know, it, I, we've probably both been in the smart chain space, right? You know how toxic that place can get. You know how many scams, rug pulls, everything. It's the Wild West. And I, I'm really happy to say Phantom's not like that, but it's not immune to rug pulls and scams. And... So one of the things we really focus on is uh, is public trust, and one of the things we've done um, in the way of that, besides you know locking liquidity and all of those things, is that we've enabled something called multi-signature authentication. It basically means that the controls of the contract are put into something where you need a consensus to make a decision and actually perform a transaction or a change. So for the less important stuff, we have something called three of six, which means three of the six people in the multi-signature wallet have to agree to a transaction before it happens. And then for the really important stuff, we have a five of seven. So five of seven people have to be there and present and agree. Um, eventually, we're going to put, uh, bring a public figure onto that signatory board as well, which is going to be really good for public trust too. I mean, it, I feel like our community does trust us a lot, but you can never take your foot off the gas. Um, and we're always looking to improve that. Um, second to that, we've got DAO governance coming up. So people will be able to make proposals and vote directly on how they want the protocol to operate. It's really nice. It lets the community get really involved and, and shape the DAO and the protocol in the way that they want to see it. 
It also allows us to draw on the, the masses of community wisdom that we've got out there. We have some incredibly smart, talented community members who, who assist us with a lot of stuff. So it'd be nice to bring in even more people to that. Um, we're looking at centralized exchange listings. We have a lending and borrowing protocol coming up, partnerships, audits, dual incentive, uh, sorry, dual incentivized liquidity pools. Um, and we're looking at cross chaining as well. Um, so we, we have a lot of plans and, uh, you know, all of these things are not going to happen in you know, the next week. Right, right. You, yeah, you listed, but... you listed a lot of things, but it seems like you guys yeah. are definitely, I mean, you guys accomplished a lot. Um, uh, how long have you guys been around for? I feel that was like one of my main questions I was forgot to ask. Has it been? Um, let's, let's do some metrics. So we've been around two weeks. Uh, we recently became okay. the leading project on Phantom or on Dex Tools, by Dex Tools as measure at least, so the most traded project on Dex Tools. Got it. I think we we were getting into the the tens of millions of traded volume at peak, which is it's just mind blowing to Congrats, me. Really yeah, nice it sounds exciting. Yeah, I mean, all the things you said are exciting. Like you said, hyper staking. I don't think I've ever heard that word. And so, I mean, I've seen a lot of projects come uh, across my desk, my, my messy desk, but I, I haven't seen um, anything that has anything like that. So definitely um, unique there. Um, and it sounds like you're building a great community already. So. Um, yeah, I, I really do love our community. It's I the best part of my day a lot of the time is talking to them. And I, I know a lot of people may just say that, but I really do mean it. And I, I think the community members I interact with on a regular basis can probably vouch for that too. But, you know, you in this space, you really live and die on the community because they're the ones that support you through the good times and the bad. And if you can be honest and open and, and have good friendships with them, you can really gain a lot from their perspective too. So we really do focus on that a lot. Yeah, and I mean, you guys are providing lots of value to them already versus other projects. And I know you kind of hinted at, like, of course, there's a lot of scam rug pull projects out there on, on other networks. But um, other networks and other projects promise things like this. Well, it's staking platform, NFT marketplace, all this stuff, wallet. But then that stuff is, you know, never comes into fruition. Uh, but you have something literally they can use and get passive income. Uh, I said at the top of this video, uh, I've seen YouTubers talk about how much they're making per day just from uh, staking from that super high APY. Um, you know, they see the value there and they see that there's a lot of opportunities for the future. So uh, obviously I'm not giving financial advice to people, but a lot of this stuff that you're saying makes uh, a ton of sense. Um, so yeah. I mean, it's, I'm really, really happy to hear that people are enjoying the platform and are looking forward to what we build. Um, we as a team are obviously very passionate about it, but that passion only carries so far because you have to deliver on the passion. And, um, you know, I, I just feel very, very fortunate to have a, an incredibly talented team, a, a wonderful community. Um, and I think that is really our strength. So, you know, we wake up every day and it is hard, you know, for, for project developers out there that are listening to this, you, you will all know it's very hard. It's very stressful. Um, but to see people, having fun in the chat and, you know, even posting memes, the memes on our discord are fantastic. Um, it really makes it worth it to be able to deliver something that changes people's lives. I think that's the main thing that I, I love getting DMS from people saying, you know, I managed to make a big donation to my church or I bought a new car or a new phone, or I love hearing about that. So, it, you know, that's the thing that really keeps me going with it. And I'm really glad that we can deliver on these promises and keep pushing. Yeah, it sounds like you have a good positive vision where you want to build a community and do this right, not get get rich quick and, um, you know, nah. uh, go to the moon, things like that. You're building a real stable uh, platform and ecosystem, which I think is great. So um, I know we talked about what this project is and what the project, all the exciting things come in the future. Uh, but now I, I take this time to um, ask you uh, to my for my community, how do they get involved? What do they should be doing? I know this doesn't sound like financial advice, but I've always <laughs> positioned this question really bad about give them financial advice. No, but like, what can they do? Is it um, uh, buy heck token, stake? Or is it just follow you guys on socials? Like anything you want to say that you think, um, you know, how my, or, you know, how my viewers and community can get involved? Well, to the Gold Laureate community, um, first of all, thanks for having me. It's great to, I know I'm not directly interacting with all of the Gold Laureate fans, but it, it's great to, for at least you guys to hear my voice and I'll pretend that we're having a two-way conversation. Um, but I would really say, you know, it, it would be really easy for me to say, I'll go and buy heck token, stake them, get involved with our bonding. I would say, honestly, the best thing you can do is join the community, do some research, hang out with us a little bit. Um, I really think that on those points alone, we have enough merit for you to be able to make a financial decision to get involved. Now, obviously, disclaimer, not financial advice. 
Um, but, you know, it, I really, really like that we're in a position where we have people in the community who basically talk about the product for us. You know, it lets us focus on working on it. So join the community, join our Discord, join our Telegram, um, follow us on Twitter, go to our website and do some research. Um, you know, if you're from the Goal Aureus community and you want to get involved, come to Telegram and Discord and, and send me a message and tag me in the chat and let me know where you've come from. And, you know, we'll, you have an army of amazing community members who will guide you throughout everything you need to know. So I'd say that's the best thing you can do. We'd love to have all of you. And you're, you're Prometheus everywhere, right? When I think of Prometheus, it's bad, but I think of that uh, uh, sci-fi movie about Prometheus and the, like, yeah, the alien prequel. Cool, but isn't yeah. Prometheus, I'm sure Prometheus, I'm, is a Greek god or Greek figure or something like, with, a, with a, yeah. a good story behind that? So. Well, the story doesn't end particularly well. Prometheus is uh, doomed to have his inside eaten by vultures. For got it, humans. got it. Um, I just really like the name Prometheus. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, find Prometheus. I'll put the links in the description so you guys can join. But I, I like the way you frame. Like you're not uh, asking what I never tell my community to uh, invest in any sort of token. But you're just talking about the landscape of um, you know fa- being aligning with Phantom and everything cool and good going on Phantom. Uh, and then obviously everything about you know how things can be better uh, in the space in terms of stable coins, et cetera. But obviously my community will do their own research and figure out yeah. uh, if this project is for them. Uh, but I said I, that's what I say. I think those are the things that they should be researching, not just uh, Hector Dow, but also um, Phantom and also how stable coin is, and uh, obviously uh, checking out the community and how people are feeling about it. So I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, if people are looking to um, to research into phantom and stable coins and how we relate to that, we have um, a lot of really good Medium articles written by our community members as well. Um, that will help you understand everything that you need to know, really. Our documentation, if I do say so myself, because I wrote it, is uh, is pretty good for explaining all of those things. We have all of the equations that we use to back the protocol if, you're, if you really want to get into the deep stuff and do the maths on it. Um, but yeah, join the community. Come and hang out with us. We would absolutely love to have you. Um, let us know that you came from Gold Aureus as well, and uh, I'll make sure that you'll get a warm welcome. Cool. So I appreciate you taking the time uh, and joining me today. It sounds like an exciting project, uh, ecosystem, and I'm just super excited to you know keep my community updated on all the exciting things coming uh, in the near future, and hopefully we get a chance to talk again uh, real soon. Uh, but I appreciate the time today uh, and talking to my community. I'm, su- I'm sure they'll be super excited about this and definitely I'll urge them to join uh, the Discord and Telegram um, to check it out. So thanks for your time today. Absolutely. The pleasure was all mine. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, yeah, I look forward to all of the further relationships and communications we can have. Cool. Um, so I'll put the link in the description, guys. So you guys can check this all out. Of course, the documentation, I'll put it up top because you you wrote it. I was actually good. There's like images and things like that. Makes it really easy to digest. I've seen some uh, documentation that's very uh, document looking. So I appreciate it. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, but thanks for your time and I'll talk to you guys later.